Well, howdy. Welcome here once again to the Double M Farm. A uh, little bit different video from what I normally do. I'm usually out working on the old homestead, but uh, as many of you know who follow our channel, we are moving. We sold the house in town and are moving permanently here to the farm. And uh, I'll have an update on the house, part I think five. There's the house up there on top of the hill. Uh, it's almost ready, waiting now on the uh, building inspector to give sign off so they can do the brick underpinning. And uh, then hopefully we'll be in it in a week or so. So that's the goal on that, and I'll give a more detailed update on that. But as part of moving from the <coughs> city to the, uh, to the homestead, um, we have decided to uh, cut the cord, and uh, we will still have internet, because quite frankly, nowadays you can't hardly function without internet. Um, and, uh, you know, eventually we'll probably do some streaming TV on the internet. That seems to be where everything's going, so that's we'll be doing some of that. But uh, we will have uh, internet available out here. Um, our local power company is running fiber optic cable and all of their power grid to offer low cost high speed internet to all of their co-op it's a co-op power company and they're offering high speed internet to all of their customers so we are we're looking forward to that and it's being as a matter of fact just about the same day our house arrived they started uh, running the internet line down the road to, towards where our house is so so that'll be good but we obviously still wanted to have some local channels and I'm just standing here letting you get an idea of the quality of the picture of what we're getting here on this little antenna. I am in my workshop, and I want you to look at how clear that picture is on that TV. I'm in the workshop uh, down in a hole, as you can see from uh, where the house is. I'm, I'm way down in a hole, and uh, I have a TV over here i don't have it turned on at the moment i have a tv right there that i use all the time when i'm down here in the shop when i want to watch the news or anything and i have this antenna which is probably a 40 year old antenna as you see right there just on a pole strapped to the side of the workshop and i pick up 32 different channels i believe it was 32 different channels let's see uh, right there that's all the different channels can't focus it but that's all the different channels right there that I pick up off of that antenna but I really don't want an outside antenna I've decided to go on the new house I don't want to have to put an antenna out in the yard and then run lines under the house and bore through the floor of a brand new house so we decided to try these indoor antennas because up on that hill we are in the Blue Ridge Mountains and on that hill, uh, as the crow flies, is only about 50 miles to the, all of the towers up on the mountain that all of the TV stations in our area broadcast from. Uh, so most of the TV stations in our, we're in the Greenville Spartanburg market, and most of uh, our TV stations in that Greenville Spartanburg Asheville market have their towers up on top of the mountains right there. Not that far away from us is the crow flies. So we figured up on that hill an indoor antenna should work well. And so I checked on uh, Amazon and went through some reviews. And this is what I decided to try. A uh, digital HD TV antenna. And you can see in my hand how small, small the box is it came in. And uh, here's the paperwork on it, which is really not much. It... Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the paperwork. It's very basic and very simple. Comes with, as you can see, a whole lot of cords. So you can set the antenna. You have a lot of options as to how far away from the TV you want the antenna. And uh, it has a booster, an inline booster. Right now I've got it set on long range. I haven't even tried scanning on short range. But uh, your booster plugs into the uh, USB port to power it, or you can plug it into an adapter like that to get power if you don't have a USB port on an older TV. And then it's a coaxial hookup to the back of the TV. 
and then of course you just scan for channels on on a digital TV on an older TV it would just automatically pick up the channels but how many people have those anymore but I scanned and I want you to see I purposely not put the camera on the antenna itself because I am in a metal building it's got wood sides but it's a metal roofed building which obviously makes it more difficult to pick up a signal and it's raining the weather's real bad outside I was going to put it up on the roof of the metal building but it's just raining too much it has a magnet base so I could stick it on the roof of this workshop but here's the antenna right here the TV sitting here and there's a shelf and there's the antenna right there put my hand on it it has a magnet base and that's it that's the entire antenna right there it's about I haven't even measured it what well, maybe six inches long uh, I know I've already I, I'm hearing the joke and the snickering yes it's about that size <laughs> uh, yeah from the base it is six inches long. Well, I'm pretty good at guessing. Gee, wonder how I knew that. Six inches looks like a foot. That's what you tell them, right? So anyhow, there's the antenna. Six inches long and about big around as your finger. And right now, and remember now, I'm getting all those 30 channels on that bigger antenna outside. I'm picking up 13 channels right now with the little TV sitting here on the workbench and the antenna sitting right there on the shelf above it. I'm picking up 13 channels. So uh, I would say that uh, it was worth $20. That's what I paid for it. It's a $20 antenna. You see all these antennas advertised. Look at that. Great uh, HD picture. Oh God, I don't know what that was on TV. I'll get off that channel. That looked awful. There's my channel right there that I'm fortunate to get over the air off an antenna. That's Grit TV, which is nothing but old westerns from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I watch that all day, every day. And look how clear that picture is. So, without getting too more long-winded, for anyone who's planning on cutting the cord, digital HD TV antenna, made in China, but, you know... <laughs> What isn't? Find something that's not made in China. I've got a lot of stuff here on the farm made in China, not the least of which is my little Harbor Freight Trencher that gets most of the views on our uh, channel. But there it is, Digital HD Antenna. Doesn't even have really have a name that I can find. It's just Digital HD TV Antenna. And it's on Amazon for $20. And I got free shipping. Didn't even have to be prime. It came free shipping. Um, you could pay $5 to get it two days sooner, but obviously I didn't. But uh, free shipping, 20 bucks plus tax, depending on where you are, what part of the country or world you're in. And I fully believe that if I go up to the top of the hill to the new house, I'll probably pick up somewhere between 20 and 30 channels with it, based on what it's doing down here in the, inside the shop in this hole. And I will do a follow-up on that one day whenever I do get it up on the hill. I have a 72-inch large screen TV that I'm going to run this same little antenna on. I'm going to go ahead and order at least one more of them to have on hand so when we get moved in the house. The beauty of it is set the TV in the house, set the little antenna beside the TV or wherever you want to set it, and not have to run any lines. No drilling, no pulling lines under the house. Uh, you can, you know women, they love to rearrange furniture. Well, now if she decides to move the TV, I don't have to go back under the house and drill a new hole in the floor for the cable line. So I'm really looking forward to this, and uh, I'm very pleased with it. And DirecTV is not pleased with me at the moment, because I, uh, I canceled them. I'm moving up here, I'm not bringing them with me. And uh, I'm going to be very happy to have internet, streaming, and my local channels right here on this little $20 antenna. So, that's the whole gist of it. In my opinion, it's very worth the 20 bucks and the two minutes it took to hook it up. So I appreciate you visiting me here on the Double M Farm, and uh, I'll be talking to you again very, very soon.